Hi, this is a really short video um, showing you and the students how you can transfer, how they can transfer their work into their SkyDrive. Um, it's probably a very uh, useful practice for them to do at the end of the year anyway. And for students leaving the schools, um, they can be aware that um, their account remains live after they leave the school so they can bring their school work with them. So to do it simply, um, what I've done is I've set up a Meath teacher's account where you can practice it and I'm also going to store this um, how-to video. So simply all you have to do is go up here and go to www.hotmail.com and if you have a Hotmail account um, it will recognise it. So what you want to do is sign in with a different account. So it's simply meath.teachers at hotmail.com and the password is Abbey Road, all small case, no sp no spaces, Abbey Road 2009. And uh, if you're working in school, obviously, um, you don't want to remember this password or this remember you on the computer. So you simply click sign in. Okay, so you would request the students to do this as well. So each student in the county has their own Live Edu account and it will bring them into their Hotmail account. I'm sure they're familiar with it because they've been using them all year. So what you want to do is they're actually going to save their work into their SkyDrive. And a SkyDrive is simply, um, it's like a space they have where they can store their documents. And it's located up here um, under the More function. So you simply ask them to click on that little black triangle beside the word More and come down and choose SkyDrive. Okay, first time they go into it just takes a second. Okay, so in here what you're going to ask the students to do is to create a folder and call it um, you know student work from the school. So simply and I'm going to do it as we go, so I'm going to click on student folder or create a folder, pardon me. Um so I'm going to call the folder um I'm going to call the folder um DCC work okay who are they going to share it with if it's a private folder they can obviously just keep it private to themselves now in this case I want to make this available to everyone so my choice is to share it with everyone okay and select next and then all they have to do is simply go off and browse for the files and drop them in here so select files from your computer they go into my documents and they pick up basically whatever files they need to. Okay, now they are well able to do this, thing, so they know what to do. So when you go in here, I'm just going to select one file, but they would have many, many files. So all they would do is select each one, click open, the file drops in, and you simply select upload. Okay, that's a very short file, so it didn't take very long. Now, because I left. Um, that available to everyone and um, I have an option here to let people know now if they left it private to themselves this option won't come up for them okay so that's basically it um, to, to go back to your SkyDrive is along here so click back up to the SkyDrive the students now can see their folder called DCC work which they can click into and they can get their files okay um, and there's their SkyDrive Okay, bringing them back to their mail is just simply by coming back up here to mail. Now I'm going to create a folder in here and I'm going to upload this video into the folder. So I'm going to create the folder here. And I'm going to call it um, Video How to SkyDrive. Okay, again I'm going to leave it open to the public because um, I can send the link on to people and they can view it then. And then I will simply um, stop this video and upload it into here. Select it from my computer um, and I will upload it. I also won't do it now because I'm recording. And you'll be able to view this video at any time. So going back here to my SkyDrive, that video will be located in that folder there. I'll delete these other ones here to make it easier for you. And then the students, uh, all they have to do is click on Mail to go back into their Hotmail account and there's details there for you on getting started with live at Hotmail. But it's really easy to do and it's probably something that you know they probably should be doing at the end of the year anyway, um, because they can access work at home. Um and as I said for leaving such students they can access the work after they leave the school. That's it. Thanks a million.